nothing will happen to you. I will look for money and buy your medication. God will not allow anything to happen to you, please. When we are all like that, please be strong. Mama, you can hear me. Mm. <laughs> will you eat food? Mm. You don't want to eat. Mm -mm. Hey. And he's not eating anything since morning. Try and eat so that you'll be strong. Medication will come. I promise you. It is not as if we even have any food in this house, though. It is not as if we have any food in this house. God, what kind of life is this? I. Oh. Mm. Mm. There is no need because as, as it stands now, you're, okay, you're still owing me, self. I'm not 10,000 naira. I know I'm owing you. I know what I promised you. Today is what? Today is the end. Uh, no, no, don't count. Uh, no, don't count. 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 Please now! Oh, oh, where do I go from here? Oh, <laughs> oh God, please now! Hey! Just, just, you can imagine, <laughs> buddy. Huh? Dad, good afternoon. No, good afternoon. Dad, please. Can you lend me 50,000 naira? Mom needs some medication and I do not have any money on me. Please. So you're so shameless to walk into my house to beg for money. No shame at all, no atom of shame at all. I'll be born. I promise. I will be born. Please. You don't borrow her the money. You know. She's talking about her mother here. Huh? They so, need this money. Be good. So you're thinking about your ex? Honey, Under no, my roof. Honey, no, no, don't say that. Oh. Hmm? Should I remind you that without me, you're nothing? Without me, you're worth nothing. Should I, should I remind you that? Mom, please, Mom, I'm begging you. Mom, please, 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 if isn't my loser of a sister. Oh, who is asking for money and see if she's a beggar? How pathetic. Mm. Hey. It's okay. Mm. I, I knew coming here was a mistake. Aha! Go another place. Ash. Wait. You want to leave without the money? I will help you. Oh. Oh, Thank yes, you. Yes. Thank you. Go in there. I have some dirty clothes. Wash them and I'll pay you. Very nice way of making money. Uh, honey? What, huh? What is honey? Mom, you know I'm a good person. You're good. Just like your mother. <sighs> Destiny helper. Thank you. Dad. Let her go in and wash those clothes. And I'm only trying them. to help. She does not want to work. Oh, you're a good girl. Lazy people. It will never work. My daughter life. Always coming to beg. I'm here offering her a job she doesn't want. Simple. Yeah. Without even application. Mom, Dad, I cannot marry a man in a wheelchair. I'm not done taking care of myself, let alone attending to someone else's need. I cannot marry that man. No. I can't. My daughter. You have no choice than to marry him. Yes. Except you want my company to go bankrupt. Except that. And this your lifestyle, this your luxurious lifestyle, will stop. It will disappear. Ah, 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 ah. 
Just be a man now. Be a man for once. Get an alternative. How do you want your only daughter to go and marry a crippled man? I hope my dead body will that happen. How can my daughter marry a crippled man? But no, 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 no. Get an alternative, please. Then say goodbye to this lifestyle. Yeah. Dad, please. You have to do something. Yes. I cannot marry that man. Now listen to me. This is a promise I made to this young man's father. That you, my daughter, will marry to his son. Yeah. And bear him grandchildren. Yeah. And that is that is final. That is final. Mom, ask him. It's not about being final. Can he do anything? Which one is that? That won't even get me pregnant. Don't worry, we'll get an Cripple man. Ah, me be pushing wheelchair. Mom, see it now. As young as you are. Mm. Ella, why are you running? Who is chasing you? Nobody is chasing you. What is Nobody is chasing me. What is it? I am looking for money to buy medication for my mother. She's very sick. Uh -uh. I don't understand. Your father didn't give you the money. He did not. He did not. Jeez, that's life anyway. Hi. Hey now. Oh, I was even coming to your place. Please, this is the little I have. Mm -hmm. Please manage it, people. Queen, thank you. Hi. Queen. God will bless you. Amen. Why is your father like this? It is well. It is well, Queen. Queen, thank you. Yes. Queen, thank you. Queen, thank you. Let me go and buy the medication. Let me go back to work. Mom. Yes, dear. Can your daughter and me? Do I look like someone that can take care of a cripple? Mom, you have to do something, please. You have to do something. Don't worry. Your father will own up as a man and find a way around it. Okay? Yes, He now. will do something about it. I can't sit down and watch him give you out to a cripple. Uh, Mbana. Look at it uh, now. After all, I'm not his only daughter. Why can't he give Ella to me? Um, you know your father promised his father that he will marry you. Hey, eh? but don't worry. I'll look for a way around it, okay? I'll find a way around the whole thing. It will come out well. Mom. Yes. I have an idea. My daughter cannot be the sacrificial lamb of this family. I can't sit and watch my daughter marry a cripple. No, now. Sandra, I don't see anything wrong with that. That young man you are talking about is handsome and very rich. Now, if your daughter must continue to live this good life she's living, she has to marry ah. that young man. Why not marry Ella? Ella, is Ella not your daughter? Give Ella to the young man to marry. After she needs the money more. I will sit and, and, and fold my arms. Watch you carry my beautiful daughter and give to a cripple. Mbao. What kind of suffering is that? Ah, Ella is your daughter too now. She needs the money because of her mother. Emma. Dad, you asked me to come. Yes, my daughter. You know I love you, and I will always want the best for you. The decision I'm making now will be of a great benefit for you and your mom. Dad, why not go straight to the point and tell her why you called her? We called you here, my dear, because we found a man for you. A man that wants to marry you. What? Yes. Dad. Is this why you asked me to come here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad, why didn't you give your lovely daughter to the man? Oh, please. I was supposed to marry this young man. But I said to myself, you're older. Mm. And you need the money to take care of your mom. So I decided to give away this golden opportunity for you. My dear. Your sister just said the truth. Um, please. Who is this man? Ah, he's the son of uh, the CEO of Star's Star Company. 
the CEO of the Sun. He's a handsome boy. Very These handsome. people are very rich. Very they have oil wells, they have uh, filling stations, they have supermarkets, they, they have a lot of things. Very the nice. boy is handsome. The only challenge is that uh, he once had an accident that ended him up in a witch. Uh -huh. What is a uh hen? -huh? I was wondering. So, this is the reason you want me to marry this man? It's not because the man is critical that I, 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 I don't want to marry him. You know, I'm too young. I need to explore. Mm -hmm. I need to take care of myself. And all that. since you're older, you need the money to take. Or do you want your mom to die of whatever illness she's suffering from? Mm -hmm. No, no. If you want to take care of your mom and give her a better life, you better grab this opportunity. You better grab this opportunity before I change my mind. And your sister is being reasonable. Mommy. Mm -hmm. I am still telling her that she's making a mistake. She should marry this man. She said no, that you need the money more. I said, I don't want to come in between sister's love. That's why I allowed it. I am now your daughter. My daughter, please think about this. Hmm? I am very grateful. Thank you. Ah, Is that you. your sister? Yes, oh. Sister of the world. Beloved sister. <laughs> Daddy, thank you. You I was thinking. Uh -uh. Ella suddenly become the lovely daughter of the family. <laughs> well, thank you, my daddy. Thank you. Are you all intelligent? Ah, 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 mommy. Ah, mommy. Thank you. My sister. <laughs> hey, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. So that was what they called me yesterday for. And what was your response? I was speechless. I just walked away. But if that guy is that rich and handsome, why didn't Anna marry him? Exactly what I asked them. Oh. I asked the same question. But you need this money. Eh? I, I know I do. Hmm. I can do anything for my mom. God bless me with this. But marrying a man I do not know and I have never met. Check it out now. It's and marriage. The of, yes, I know. It is I marriage. Know. I know. I know. I can't convince you to do anything. The ball is in your court. Okay? As in. The choice is yours. <laughs> you do. I mean, I'm getting married to a girl I've never seen before. That's weird. Every time I keep hearing, she's, she's fine. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. I don't know. I'm just curious. Are you telling me that you've not seen this girl? You know her? You've not seen her? Never set my eyes on her. Ah, that's right. But, come to think of it, for this girl to accept to marry you, knowing your condition, is a reason for you to wait. And I believe she must be a good girl. <clears throat> That's okay. I mean, I can't wait to see her. No, I can't. You want to wear things, bro? Mm. Mom, look at your beautiful, wonderful daughter that they would want to turn into a nanny, all in the name of marriage, when there are thousands of rich, handsome men waiting for me to say yes to them. The only thing you have to pray for is for your sister to say yes to that man. Let a useless girl say yes. <laughs> If she doesn't have say yes, we have a problem. I can't afford to live on the streets. God forbid. That family is the only family that will assist us at this point. <laughs> so we need all the money we can get from that family. If she says no, we we'll have no option than allow him marry you. God forbid, Mom. I can't. It's not God forbid, for Christ's sake. Let's face reality. 
That young man is handsome and very rich. The only problem is that he can't walk due to the accident he had. You're not going there to love him. It's just for the money and the system that that family can render to us. That's what we need. Ah, my beautiful, intelligent, sweet sister. You're welcome. Good afternoon, Mom. Thank you. Uh, so, what's up? Have you accepted to marry me? Yes, I have accepted. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful girl. Ah. Oh, that's good. But on one condition. Which is? I don't need a big wedding. Just something small. Low key. Very low key. Low key. Yes. Done. <laughs> done. Oh, consider it done. Uh, thank, thank. No, no, you should be thanking me for giving up this great opportunity. Yes. Give me this handsome rich man. You know I'm a very good sister. For a very big family. And I'm a very nice person. That's why I'm giving you this opportunity. You should be thanking me every day of your life. Every day. Ha! Ah. Thank Me, my cripple, and become a nanny. Oh, for me. Oh, King! Joe, my G. Hi How funny. I'm welcome. Nah, uh, your wife to be confided in me that she doesn't want an elaborate wedding, that what she wants is just uh, a simple and concise wedding. Are you aware of that? No, it's perfect. It's perfect for me. Serious? Yes. You know, I can't walk. I'm paralyzed. I mean, how do I walk down the aisle in, in a wheelchair? Mm. How do I dance with my wife? So, um, it's okay with me. If we can, the pastor can come to the house and officiate the wedding, give us our rings in front of both families. It's perfect for me. I see your point. I get your point. Since both of you have uh, the same thought, I'm going to convey a message to them. Uh, King, I'm sorry to tell you this. I don't think I might be around on the day of your wedding. From my schedule, I have someone I'm going to operate on that day. <laughs> so, Regardless of how small the wedding is, that means my best friend won't be coming to my wedding. So I understand. That's your profession. I believe you have something. In you. Will you take anything as well? Let me get from you. What do you want to drink? Uh, just give me water. Alright. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, since Everyone is here. I think it's the right time we start. Okay, mm -hmm. so where is so far? My dad traveled for a business meeting. But I think we can go ahead and start because he has already given his blessings and you know this is a lucky stop. Okay, let's start. What's your name? Daniela. Daniela. My father said Annabella. Your father had me wrong. I told him Daniela. I am the elder sister. That's okay. You can start. Come start now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Pastor. Um, today, in the name of God. We gather here to witness the wedding between our lovely bride and groom, Daniela George and Kesley Darikin. So, Kesley, 
Do you take Danella to be your lovely wedded wife? In sickness and in health, till death do you good. I do. Daniela, do you take Kesari to be your lovely wedded husband? In sickness and in health, till death do you both part. Hallelujah! Praise God! <laughs> Congratulations! Yes. Thank, you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You both do it so lovely. Oh, lovely. Yes. Thank you so much, Pastor. Congratulations, Pastor. Ella, how come your dad not pays the doctors to come and treat you too? I persuaded him to. Hmm. So you now remember that you're his doctor? It's the Lord's doing, man. Um, there is something I would love to discuss with you. I'm listening, my child. I just got married. What? Just got married without telling me? Was that the only condition your dad gave you before paying my hospital bills? Mm -hmm. Who did he sell you to? No. I got married to a very nice man. Oh. Dad did not sell me. Mom, I personally accepted to marry the man. Please. I'm sorry I could not tell you. Everything sickness, happened so soon. Why did you keep me in this condition? <sighs> Mom, it's okay. Everything will be fine. Please, don't start. You should be happy you're getting better. Hmm? Please, I'm sorry. I am so sorry I couldn't tell you. Please, forgive me. And what's with the long face? Are you tired already? I thought you said you would be by my side for better for worse. In sickness and in health. Was that a lie? Listen, if you want a divorce, you can go ahead. I don't want anybody to feel pity for me. No. Don't say that. You do not know what is going through my mind. It's not as if you care. Me and left for you, as soon as I'm dead, you'll get your freedom back. Don't say that. Why would I wish you dead? You haven't wronged me in any way. Besides, I cannot even wish death upon my worst enemy. I delude you. Why are you crying? I must have said something wrong. You're so lucky. Look 
at the house you now live in. Huh? There's so much time God that Anna rejected him and pushed him to you. You're so blessed. How I wish I was the one that she asked to marry him. But it's all good. Uh, but please, eh? Uh, does he have any cousin or brother that is on the wheelchair that needs some help? I, I, I can be of help. Yes, now I'll gladly do it. <laughs> Stop laughing, I'll gladly do it. Ah! Queen. Hmm? <laughs> now. Stop it now. Stop what? Is this? what? Stop what? I'm telling you my problem. Eh? I want to be comfortable just like you. Do you think this peanuts is something? This monthly salary is nothing. Ah, honestly. See, package. I, 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 don't want me. Baby, stop now. I need help. I'm telling you. I want to live a comfortable life. Even with that peanuts, I now add up with something. My man will now support me. Eh, please, ask your husband for me. I'm very serious. <laughs> it's okay now. That's by the way. Have you told your mom? Yes. I have. What did she say? She feels I am doing it because of her. But it's true now. I'm doing it because of her illness now. I'll be one time missing I'm in love making you marry good. Queen. My husband is not a cripple. He will walk again. Thank you. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'm happy yeah. for you. <laughs> Please, oh, I see tender my. Calm down, calm down. What will you eat? It's so Okay, okay. Mm. Open check. <laughs> I, 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 I need them. Um, I don't want swallow. Fried rice with grilled chicken, then sauce by the side. Eh. Yes, chilled one mm. by no. Okay. <laughs> to the kitchen, we go. Because um, I'll not prepare this one by myself, so move it. I'm a visitor in my friend. Which visitor? No, Get nah, up. Ayla, stop this. Be mature for once. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm very childish. I like being childish. One day here, make me AC touch me. Which is yeah, <laughs> let's go. is too hot. <laughs> <laughs> let's hey, go. Come, 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 come. Let me think. Now, all this my small, small money we've been they collect for your mama eh, treatment is safe now. <laughs> I'm not Are you it. stylishly complaining? No, I'm not complaining. No, tell me now. But I, if I do not disturb you, who will I disturb? What are friends for, it's Queen? It's okay. Now you Queen, what money. are friends for? Now you could tip me now. Uh, yeah, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. I'll double it. No, now we could collect. No worry. When, <laughs> <laughs> when I reach, I'm going to ask you. No worry. Uh, 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 hey, uh, now, if you don't talk to your husband, me, give me your husband too. I'm going to ask you. It'd be you like too. your eye, they shoot for where my husband did. No, go for bed. Bed is handsome. Let's go for bed. You know, they see the guy. See the skin. They see. You don't snatch my hands now, though. Queen, what is this one? Queen, what is this? Like, you're not hungry. You don't want to eat food. No, no, nah, I'm just happy. Doing what I learned, taking care of my sick mom. Mrs. George is sick. I mean, my biological mom. Mrs. George is not your biological mom. She's my stepmom. If your, your mom is sick and you're here taking care of me, I think you should go and take care of her. <laughs> no. I have always been with my mom. But right now, she has a doctor taking care of her. So I need to take care of my own husband. Mm. 
For giving up this Lilox dream for you. At least you don't have to beg anymore. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, how is the cripple? My husband is not a cripple. <laughs> he will <laughs> definitely walk again. <laughs> really? Your husband? Wantasha <laughs> never end. You're so proud to call a cripple your husband. I've always known you to be a low life person. <laughs> Poverty. Poverty. That is why when dad said I should marry him, I said no. My stupid elder sister will do that. And here we are. Are you here to, here to see how miserable you're living the life I rejected? <laughs> you did not disappoint me. Kai! I did not do much to convince you. I just said, take. And you did. I wonder where you got this cheap, useless behavior from. Certainly not from my dad. I guess from your sick mother. You dare not insult my mother. Get out. <laughs> Leave before I do something stupid. You're already out! You're already doing something stupid. Don't worry. I'm leaving. The cripple is my husband. <laughs> Yeah, babe. How did you get down from the car? You should have called me to come help you. Hey, my friend Joe dropped you off. He helped oh. me come down. Oh, God bless you. Welcome. Okay, I need to go fresh and open side. What are you saying? What happened? Why are you like this? Mom, I have been deceived. Hey! Deceived? The deceived boss. <laughs> Who is they? <laughs> Who deceived us? He can walk. Who can walk? He's not crippled, mom. Who now? Kisley, who else? He's not crippled. What are you saying? <laughs> you saw it? I'm telling you. How? I saw him. I went to see Ella. Mm -hmm. As I was coming out from the house, I saw Kisley coming down from his car. <laughs> With his two legs, he walked to where his wheelchair was. And he sat on it? He, and he sat on it. Does Ella know, the, Ella know this? I don't think so. He's still pretending to her. Uh... Hey. Does your father know this? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Hey! Are you sure it's not your father's plan to make Ella marry a rich man? I don't care. Mom, I don't care. I want my husband back. I want my Kingsley back. <laughs> they saved me. Shh. You have to calm down. So he can walk. He can walk. Oh. So he was just deceiving us. Pretending, deceiving us. Oh. Calm down, calm down. So that your father will not hear it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll think out. I'll figure out what to do. Okay. Ah, mom, do something. Oh, I want so my husband. He can walk. He can walk. I want my husband back. I want my husband back. <laughs> the deceivers. <laughs> Thank you. 
I know you'll be wondering why I've called you here. Sweetheart, there's a new development. Your sister has realized her mistakes and she wants to correct it. What mistake? My sweet sister. Ah, my beautiful sister. You know your sister is young and naive. And I just realized my mistake after I came visiting you the other day. I said to myself, ah, why not release your sister from this heavy stress? stress and so I just want you to live in Kingsley so that I can take him back. What she's trying to say is this. She is feeling the stress you're going through in that house. Yes. She came back and told me that she's feeling so guilty mm. of what she did. Yes. So she wants to assume her position and take up the responsibility while you concentrate on your mother. Just carry the stress of your mother. You're still young to carry both ways. Yes. That's what she's saying. Yes, yes, my sister. Why are you telling me this? Why not go straight to Kingsley and tell him your daughter, who was supposed to marry him, now wants him? Sweet sister, you have to leave him first so that when we meet, he will accept me. Just leave him. If it's about your mother, don't think about it, okay? Mm. We'll still provide you with everything you need to take care of her mm. until she gets well. But for now, at least vacate that house. Yes. So she can come in. Yes. Oh? Okay. Mm. Don't worry, eh? My mom, she keeps to her promise. Oh, yeah. She will not disappoint you. Eh? Sweet sis. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Please. Mm. I know you're a good girl. I know you can. Please, eh? Just pity your sister. Oh, no, no, no. Pity yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the stress. Mm, pity yourself. <laughs> Azine, they are so lucky I'm not the one. I would have slapped both daughter and mother. There is no need for violence. I have already told them to go meet Kim and to discuss with him. Why? For what? Ella, sometimes I don't understand you. How? Ask them for what? That your sister, I need to reset that her brain. Calm down. I need to reset her brain. They gave him to me. So if they want him back, no problem. Oh, because they gave him to you. Is that how you do marriage in your place? Is that how it's done? That will never happen. Over my dead body, God forbid. I will never allow that to happen. Yes, put me right. <laughs> Please. There is no need for this... Uh... Problems. You know, I don't like problems at all. Come on, wake up, girl. At your age, you're supposed to be in your husband's house and not going out. Well, how, how can you want to abandon your husband for your own sister? Who does that? They've promised to continue taking care of my mom's medical bills. So, to me, it's okay. I think the resetting of the brain will start from you. Yes, I will start it from you because you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Who, how, as in, how can you even think of that? You don't like this your new life. You want to go back to that your old lamenting, suffering, crying everyday lifestyle, right? You don't like the new life you're living. Do I have a choice? Queen. Ella, you have a choice. Yes, I'm here for you. Never, it will never happen. For what now, Shu? Please don't say that. You're back. My baby. Welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I got something for you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm glad you love it. I do. But you shouldn't have all that. You don't have to, have to spend this much on me. Baby, I have to spend this much on you. I mean, you are my wife. I'm your husband. I, can sh I need to show you that I can take care of you. 
At least it's not easy getting married to a cripple. You are not a cripple. I strongly believe you will walk again. Amen. Baby, your faith keeps me going. I love you. <laughs> Why did I even marry you? Instead of your sister. I am... I am sorry you feel disappointed that you ended up with me no. instead of my sister. No, no, baby. As a matter of fact, I love the fact that I ended up with you. I mean, I wouldn't have been happier without you. You know, the issue is I've not seen your sister and I didn't even see her the day of our wedding. Oh, yeah. She was not around. Really? It's okay. It's fine. I love you too. <laughs> I just realized that the last time I went to visit her, she was looking so sad. Not being by her mother's side 247 is draining her. Okay. And I want to take some responsibility of her. I want her to give me my man back. I want to take my oh, man back. Oh, I see. I was like, I was trying to figure out where you're heading to. And um, the thing is that you want to go back to your crippled man? Yes, you see. Uh, these days, eh, husbands are very hard to find. Kai, I shouldn't have rejected the one God gave to me. I don't know what came over me. Please. Ah, I don't know what you want me to do. Have you spoken to Kingsley? Not yet. You have to, so that you will know if he will accept you or not. Before <laughs> I now talk to Ella. That is why I want your friend to leave first. I know he will accept me. Eh? Please, ah. help me and talk to her. I promise if you do this for me, I will surprise you. I will surprise you big time. I Anna. promise. Yes. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> I promise. Oh, okay. It's okay because of that. I will do it. Now. Please, Honestly, thank you. I can ah, see you want to relieve her of her duty. Yes, so. Ah, you see there. I'm a good sister. I gave her something I thought was going to help her. And now that she's feeling sad about it, I want to take it back from her and help her life. Oh, please. Okay, so what about her mother's... Uh, Don't worry family? about that. My mother will take care of it. What? Yes, now. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. It's done. Oh, like it's done. Ah, yeah, I'll good friend. Yeah, ah, yeah, ah, thank you, her. thank you. <laughs> Honey, you have to tell your daughter to come back. Let her leave that house. Let my daughter go back there and sit up and take full responsibility of her position. You must be a joke. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Were you not here when I was begging Annabelle, your daughter, to marry that boy? See, I am not ready to put my daughter in that stress again. Then be ready for war in this house. Yes, ready for war. Is my daughter not your daughter? She made a mistake and she has realized her mistake. Why not forgive her and help her? Let me regain ask her you. happiness. Let me ask you, how did I end up with you? How you ended up with me? Yes. Mommy, you ran away from your ex-wife that was suffocating you with sickness. You met a healthy, wealthy, well-to-do woman a very caring woman that took care of you and your company. And now you sit here to ask me, how did I end up with you? Really? Did you ask that question? I'd rather leave this house for you and your daughter than to make my daughter pass through distress. Then get ready to leave. Leave my house. Of what use are you in this house? Leave this house! Will it talk to me? Your father is proving very stubborn. But I believe he will come around. Don't worry, he will come around. Mom, we have to do something to you, please. I will do so. Ah! Come down. Mommy! <laughs> Thank you. 
I trust you. I'll do something. So your mom is still in the hospital? Yes. She's still in the hospital. Who is taking care of her hospital bills? And who is taking care of her in the hospital until she gets better? My dad is. Though I, I visit her every day. I even wanted to tell you that I would love to go spend some time with her in the hospital. Go stay there with her, that is, if you do not mind. Hi, I'm, I'm okay with it, I'm cool with it. That's it, don't mind. Hi, Hi sis. Hello, husband. Hi. And you are? Anna. Annabelle, your wife. Ella. You didn't tell him. Ella, how could you be this wicked? Since you are here, why not go ahead and tell him how you, who was supposed to marry him, traveled and he ended up marrying me? Explain yourself. What's going on here? Uh, Excuse me, please. Babe! Ella! Uh, what's going on? You understand, baby. What, who is your baby? What's, what's going on? Ella! Babe, I'm your wife. Babe! babe. King, when are you going to tell your wife that you can actually work and put an end to all this act? <laughs> you know, I was about doing that yesterday. Annabella barged in on us. I told you about Annabella. She, she was the one I'm supposed to marry in place of her sister. Are you not regretting? No, not at all. These people are actually playing a game. And I want to find out the game they are playing. So I will continue with this act till I know what is really going on. What does she really want? I don't know. She came here, she was telling me that um, she was supposed to marry me and something happened. And her sister took her place. But she still wants to marry me and she still loves me. But... I've fallen for Ella. What? Yes. So much. King, what's really going on? What is going on? Joe, I think I've fallen so much for Ella. The way she takes care of me, the way she behaves, she's so homely. Yes. Ah. My guy is in love. Don't tell me you're in love. There's nothing wrong with being in love. My guy is in love. He's <laughs> bad. <laughs> My guy is in love. Did you tell him? I did not. Why? Why are you this selfish? For a man you don't even love. You are the one that rejected this man. Mm -hmm. So I will advise you walk up to him and discuss with him. If he tells me to leave, then fine. Mm -hmm. Don't involve me. This is what you want, right? Yes. You want war, right? And I will give you war. I gave you something. And now I want it back. Why can't you leave my man alone? Why can't you leave him alone? <laughs> you are just blabbing. If you want your man back, you know what to do. Oh, I want him back. And I would definitely have him back. Thank God you said he's my man. I will have him back. Hmm? Switch yourself. Oh, so you now have the mouth and the guts to talk to me, right? You have the guts to talk to me this way, right? I hope you're not sleeping with my husband. I hope you're not sleeping with my husband. Because even if you sleep with him, I will still take him back. And you better not get pregnant. You better not get pregnant too. Because if you get pregnant, you will raise that child alone. Just like your brother is raising you alone. So you asked to see me? Yes, my brother. Your love? Yes, baby. I don't know if Ella did not tell you. 
I was the one that was supposed to be your wife. You were supposed to be my wife. But I heard you rejected me because you don't want to marry a cripple. No, no, that's not true. That's not what happened. I need to know what happened. I need to know why you rejected me. If I rejected you, then why am I here trying to get back your attention? I did not reject you. The thing is, I was very sick on that day. I had to travel to go and take care of myself. I asked my sister to stand in for me. I cannot reject a very handsome man like you. Am I mad? Yeah. Well, um, uh, Annabella, I don't know the games you are playing, but I want you to know that I love your sister so much. I love Ella so much, and I don't want to be with anybody else. Baby, please don't say this. Please. See, I will take care of you. Even after five beautiful kids, I will still be looking very beautiful and taking care of you. Don't, don't let a stranger come in between us, please. please. Um, well, it's the will of God that you are sick on our wedding day. Deal with it. Brainwashed him. How can he choose her over me now? <laughs> Mom, look at me now. Calm down. I will invite him over and know what the problem is. Okay? <laughs> Mom, you have to talk to him. I cannot lose my husband. No. I cannot lose my husband for that girl. I say you should calm down. I will have a word with him and know what the problem is. Okay? I'll talk to him. How can he still love that girl now? <laughs> Oh, Simeon, no, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. I just want to talk to my husband. Then don't worry now. I'll talk with him now. That, that girl is a very wicked girl. <laughs> that was what happened. She refused to marry you because she didn't want to marry a cripple. And they asked Taylor to. They promised to pay her mother's hospital bill if she agrees to marry you. So automatically, Ella is doing this for her mother's sake. So why this sudden change of mind? I mean, she doesn't want to marry me because of my disability. Why is she all over me right now? When my disability is still there? Isn't it quite ironic? Okay. Maybe she, she, has, she has realized her mistake but I doubt. Well, it's too late. If that's the case. <laughs> Are you in one way or the other telling me that you're in love with my friend already? Oh, oh my God. I'm blushing already. Come on. No, don't oh, I'm we don't so do happy. that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Ah, <laughs> you're in love. <laughs> I invited you here because I respect you so much as a son. I respect that, ma. That's why I'm here. I want to ask if you've had a discussion with my daughter Annabella present. Um, yes, I did. I want to plead with you that you accept her back. Ma, you know when my... When I heard that I will be getting married to Mr. George's daughter, I was so excited because I know the type of relationship he shares with my father. Ah, and my daughter was also so excited when she heard that she was marrying you. Just that during that period, unfortunately, she felt very sick. So we pleaded with her sister to stand in for her. 
I think it's too late now. No, whatever you might have heard are lies. See, my daughter loves you with her heart. I trained her well. She's humble, faithful, hardworking. And she's so much in love with you. Just give it a try, please. Is, is Ella pregnant? No. No, we, we've not gotten to that point yet, but we have grown to love each other. You get to love my daughter too. Just one week with my daughter, you fell in love with her. Because she's a lovable girl. Trust me. Honestly, I I think it's too late already. You can't do that. Oh, no, never say too late. It's possible. Just give her a chance and trust me, it will work. You will love her. Everything is possible. Okay? Please. Where is my mother? Where is my mother, you evil woman? I went to the hospital and couldn't find her. You better start talking. Where did you keep my mother? Else I will choose something we both will regret. Mm. Oh. I won't deny the fact that I'm the one that took your mother from that hospital. But, my dear, Ranton won't solve nothing. Nothing. What do you want? Beautiful. Now you're talking, not ranting. Come on. It's not making sense. You see, my dear, um, my daughter wants her husband back. If you want your mother safe, go back to Kingsley's house, pack your things, and leave that out because my daughter wants her husband back. If you do that, you will have your mother safe and sound. Mm -hmm. That's all I want you to do. Why are you doing this? Because Why are you asking me to leave the same man you forced me to marry? Because then my daughter was naive and now she has understood herself and she wants her home back. So if you just take your things out, I promise you, your mother will be safe and sound. Hmm? Okay. Fine. I will leave. But please, nothing should happen to my mother. Else you kill me too. I am not heartless. So the earlier you go and pack your things and leave the better. And if you mention anything about this thing now to anyone, your mother will be dead. I'll leave. Do not allow anything happen to me. Oh, come on. I am not a heartless woman. I do to my worst. Pack your things and leave at this lane, marry my daughter. Then your mother will be free. Come on, good girl. Fine hair you have here. Babe! Baby, I'm home! Babe! Baby! Baby, I'm here. You're back. <laughs> Baby, welcome. Where is she? Baby, I'm here. Where is my wife? Oh, my love, I'm here. Where is my wife? She left. What do you mean she left? She, she says she doesn't want to marry a man that is in a wheelchair. I told her she was only pretending. She only stood in for me. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. What did you do to my wife? Nothing, oh. Nothing. I didn't do anything to her. She's just tired of the marriage. She said she's tired of the marriage. She just passed at him and left. She said that? Yes. Baby, I told you that she does not love you. I'm here for you to genuinely love and take care of you. Forget her. I'm here for you, baby. Eh, my love. Mm? I'm here. Mm?
Now you have to go back to your husband's house. I have been asking you what happened and you keep saying nothing. What really happened? Nothing. There you go again. Tell me what happened. Did he beat you? No, tell me. Let me show him a piece of me. I'm very mean when it comes to that. In fact, he's the best man I have ever known. So what happened then? Talk to me, Ella. I'm your friend. You can confide in me. Please talk to someone. What is it? Promise you won't tell anyone. I promise. My stepmom kidnapped my mom. Jesus Christ. Jesus, my goodness, Lord. And the only condition was to leave my husband's house so he could marry Anna. Oh, this thing is up to this. Oh, my goodness. This woman is so wicked. Ah! Your sick mom kidnapped. My sister was left with no choice than to leave so that my mom will be alive. Now I understand. How? Bella. <sighs> Everything, but he keeps avoiding me. He doesn't allow me to touch him. He does not touch me. <laughs> Mom, that sister of mine is wicked. Mm. She's using charms on him. No, don't say that. Men are like that. They like to do guy, especially when they have a lot of things around them. They need distraction. Okay? Keep doing it. Keep distracting him. <laughs> okay? Don't stop. Keep pushing. Mom, it's like you don't know the daughter you have again. There is nothing I have not done. Mom. See, let me tell you what you do, okay? You have to go and get sexy, revealing nightgowns. Okay? okay? Those ones at the nets are big. And you wear G-strings. Okay. Don't wear bra. Okay. Only with that nightgown and G-string. You keep crossing him. You want to go and cook him in Domi? We are only just Don't even wear a top. Let him be the one to tell you. Are you not covering your body? Say Don't no. Trust I want to be sexy have, for you. Have you forgotten you bought me those kind of buy things more. last week? Ah. Or should I get more for you? More buy. buy. Distract him. Okay, more. Men like distraction. Ah, mom, you trust your daughter. I now. know. See me now. Keep moving like that. <laughs> Let me see if he can resist it. He can't. Okay, mom. Ah. Oh, she go. Drink. Drink. What is that? What is all this? Come on. Ella is gone. Ella is gone. Gone? How? Gone to where? I came back from work. I didn't see her. Have you... Have you found her family? Have you asked them? Yes, I did. I, 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 the, the first people I called was her family. They, they were telling me that that Ella said she can't marry me again. She can't keep taking care of me. Uh, in fact, she's tired. You see that? You see that? I've told you countless times to stop pretending and open up to her and tell her the truth that you can walk. Have you seen it? Joe, that is not the point. The I mean, that, that is quite unlike Ella. Uh, Ella just left without any explanation. That is what she did. She owes you an explanation at this point. You need to go find her. Go find her so that she can tell you the reason she left. Now you are talking to you, but the problem is how do I find her? Where do I find her? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm just blank. What about her friend? Yes. Her friend. 
You see, Queen and her friend will know one or two about her. And I will go and visit her tomorrow. I think it's the best thing is for you to go back to your parents' house. This cannot work. Baby, please. Your love for me will grow if you permit it, please. Please go back to your parents' house, please. Don't say this. You know I love you so much, please. I don't know why you're avoiding me. Can you just let me be? I'm not in the mood for this. <clears throat> Oh, Queen, thank God you are here. Where is my wife? Have you seen her? She's the reason I'm here. How is she? What's going on? How is she doing? Why did she leave without telling me? She was forced to. What? By who? By Mrs. Mrs. Sandra, Ella's stepmother. She kidnapped Ella's mother from the hospital and threatened Ella. That if she doesn't leave your house, she will not see her mother again. Wait, what? Yes. No wonder, because I know that Ella can never leave this house without telling me. She was threatened not to tell anybody. Thank you for this information. Please, you need to help her. I She's you. helpless. What? Kisley? Chibo, Kisley, come on. Annabelle! Oh, no. Annabelle! Annabelle! I know, like, en en enough, enough of these pretentious acts of yours. I knew my presence will heal you, baby. Oh, thank God. Listen, I want you to go inside. Pack your bags and get the hell out of my house. Babe, what did I do? We should be celebrating that you can walk again, not this. I don't want to repeat myself again, Annabelle. I said, go inside, pack your bags and get out of my house. Baby, why? Oh, baby, please don't do this to me. What did I do? Okay. Baby! Baby, stop this! Do you know you are a very wicked woman? I made a serious mistake making you my wife. Now let me ask you, where's my ex-wife? Your miserable ex-wife is safe. I did what I did to secure my daughter's future. That's all I will over. And you think what you are doing will secure her future? Uh -huh. After teaching her all your evil antics. For your information, Kingsley has vowed and threatened to withdraw his share from her company. This woman, you are killing me, Sandra. You have killed me! You can rant as long as you want. I cannot be threatened, though. I'll release that miserable woman once Kingsley marries my daughter. Now listen. I give you just 24 hours to release Me. Sarah, or I will report this case to the police. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Uh. Why are you back with your boss? Please, you threw me out of the house. You did what? He said he's in love with Ella. With Ella? Yes. 
I'll deal with that. Mom, I told you that that girl used charms on him. I told you. She Ella. used charms on him. Ella. Yes. How can Kisley see a girl like me? I, I, he will love, love, love her. I'll do to her what I did to her mother. What did you do to her? Nothing. By the time I'm done with her, hmm, Kisley will come back here and marry you. Mom, please, I don't want her to be dead. She's still my sister. I, I'm not talking about killing anybody. I said, don't worry. You'll hear what I am doing later. Go in, go in, carry your bag inside. Kisly threw you out. Hey! Ella! Ella! Ella, come out here! Come out, oh, Ella! Ella, come out! Ella, what charms did you use on my husband? Are you this heartless? Why are you heartless? For using a charm on a man you do not even love. Huh? You do not even want to bury this man. You are accepting him because of his money. Just because of his money. Now that you are out of the picture, why can't you just neutralize the charm and leave my husband alone? Ella, leave my husband alone! Why are you still barking like a mad dog? Oh, I'm barking! Ella, you have the mouth, the ghost, to talk to me that way, right? I am barking, right? <laughs> it's fine. We shall see. I'm barking, right? We shall see. Hey, no, I can't even ask you, when was the wedding? Look at that. <laughs> no, now, that girl is a mad girl. Why would they not say it's because she's your sister? You can walk? Yes. I can walk. Why did you leave me? You would have told me about your stepmother. See, I'm your husband for crying out loud. I... I do not want to endanger my mom's life. My stepmother is evil. And you made me more miserable. You didn't think how I would feel. I'm sorry. It's okay. You need to get your bags. Let's. I'm back outside. Let's. Let's go. What about Anna? We will talk about that when we get home. Okay. Yes. Yes. What's it for you? Here. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, officer. Yes, I will come to the station very soon. All right. Yeah. Dave. They've seen your mother. Oh. Babe, thank you. Thank you so much. Where is she? Let's go and see her, please. Yeah, we'll go and see her later. Later? Yes, but I want to tell you something, babe. Next time anybody threatens or tries to scare you, always let me know. Because I'm your husband and I will always protect you no matter what. Alright? Thank you so much. Your God sense. It's okay. As for your stepmother, she has been arrested. Oh, no, please. Just let her go. My happiness is that my mom is safe. Honey, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's go, please. There is no time. It's Let's okay, go. baby. Okay. We'll go there. Alright? Thank you. I want you to be fine. Thank you. God bless you, Shia. God bless you. you. So um go get my kids. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Mm. 
Be my friends, my friends. Be my friends. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. If you say so. Babe, why were you pretending to be paralyzed? Babe, it's a long story. To make a woman happy, and I can't wait to be your wife. I know how to make you happy. Baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Come baby, on. Check it baby, out. Baby, how did you know this perfect colors? I know your perfect oh. size, baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Me. Ah, those are designers. So <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> mm. Give me my phone. I need to call Joe. I need to call my friend Joe. He's a medical doctor. I, I think he, he, he can help. My phone is there. Uh -uh. Yes. Uh, try, 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 try moving. Try moving this this leg. Let me let me check something. Yeah. Hey! Yeah! 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 Wait! 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 Give me my phone. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. My phone. My phone. Okay. Hey, babe! Mm. Oh, just calm down, okay? Uh, it's nothing serious. It's just a... Uh, a partial paralysis, alright? Yeah, and with the right medication and massage, it's going to be fine, okay? It is called a paralegia. That is a partial paralysis from the waist down, okay? My friend, you're going to be fine, alright? Okay, doctor, please, how long is it going to take him to walk again? Um, uh, we can't say, but uh, like a year or more, he's going to be fine, okay? He's fine. God, this is going to be a long and a tough walk. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, all right. Uh, okay, I have the wheelchair. Please, can you help me? Let us take him to the wheelchair. Okay. How do you expect me to do this? I've not done this before. I mean, uh, no. You 
practically need not to have done before. All you just have to do is to help me put your hand and stick it to the wheelchair. Help me. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Can you help me? Let's take him to the wheelchair. Okay. Help me put your hand in place. Okay. Help me. Let's go. Is it just, just aid him at the back while I try to do it? You, you know, he can actually stand, okay? Let's go. Help me. Let's go. Help me. Let's go. So I can walk. Vilam. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am not surprised. Yeah. Because I knew right from time that it was not something serious. Really? Yes. Uh, King. No, no, no. Don't sit here again. So now you can walk. <laughs> what are we going to do to this? We have to, you know, give it out to charity. Yeah, but I said don't sit on this. No, no, it's okay. I, I, I'm, I'm planning to keep up with these acts. You know, something happened, Joe. This girl did something that shocked me. So I want to really know if she truly loved me because the way she reacted about the whole situation shocked me. Man, if I tell you I was not surprised, I'm lying. I was really surprised her act and everything that she acted towards you. Somebody that you wanted to marry. Huh? I'm shocked. I'm shocked to my bones. You know. Won't you come and help me and take me to my wheelchair? I need to go outside and get fresh air. Can you help me? See, you have to hire someone that is going to do this for you. I cannot at least get a nurse or maybe anybody to help you. I have not done this before. How do you expect me to do it? How? Baby, how do you expect me to get someone else? You are here and we are getting married. You are living with me. And just help me. Oh, oh, we are getting married. So because we are getting married, I should I should involve myself in this. It's not possible, please. Don't, don't stress me, please. Thank you. Baby, please, can you? I, I need to go outside and see Please. Listen, please. I do not like disturbance. Please, let me have peace. Baby. Ah. Oh. Where are you going with your with your bags packed like that? I want to see my parents. If you want to go and see your parents and you're packing your bags like this, who's going to take care of me in my condition? You know I need you. I need you around now. You have all the money. Hire a nurse to take care of you. I have not done this before. How do you expect me to do this? to take care of you. You can pay someone, you have all the money, so why, why do you want to stress me? Please, I cannot do this. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you're going to see your mom with your back. I'll see you when I'm back.
since then I never got to see her again. You know, she felt I would be paralyzed for life. But it's all good. At least now I'm not paralyzed. But I was so hurt. I understand how you must have felt. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's okay. At least I have you now. You know there is a reason for everything. Sure. 